Hey guys, it's Jeff and today we are taking a look at what a possible iOS 13 music app may look like with of course dark mode included. Let's take a look. Before we get started though, I did want to share with you guys our partnership with Dollar Shave Club. Dollar Shave Club has been so generous as to sponsor this video and I wanted to share with you guys their awesome build your own trial kit to test out their best products. So head down to the link down below to check out their shave, shower, and oral care kits. They each have some awesome products that will really help your everyday hygiene. Seriously, just give it a try. It's only 15 bucks for the trial kit and then after that, you can set up delivery from them whenever you need your refill. So again, check out our link down below or head over to Dollar Shave Club slash tech review. Okay, so the app we are going to be taking a look at today is called Soar, S-O-O-R. You can find it on the App Store. I'll have it linked down below just in case you guys want to go ahead and check it out for yourself. Uh, this is a fairly new app. And as you can see through the previews here, uh, we do have a dark mode. So um, this is sort of like in my mind what a dark themed music app would look like. And I think the creators of Soar have done a fantastic job with their app here. As you can see, released just five days ago, and they've already done one update here, uh, but their app so far in my use has been absolutely amazing. But before we go ahead and open that up, we will go into the regular music app here, um, the Apple music app, and just kind of take a look at this theme here and all that's included. Um, it's pretty basic. This design has been around for a few years now, and um, I do like the design. It, it really has grown on me. Um, but after uh, taking a look at Soar, it definitely um, has a lot more features and just looks a little bit more modern uh, than this current music app configuration. So let's go ahead and open up Soar. Okay, so when opening up Soar, you'll come to um, this page here. I have the light theme installed right now. We'll go ahead and get to the dark theme in just a moment. But let's just talk a little bit about music discovery. Uh, this hooks up with Apple Music. So if you have a subscription, it will directly connect with that subscription uh, through Music Kit. And you can go ahead and take a look at the, um, as you can see, hot tracks on the charts here. Um, it has a very good algorithm. That is one thing that I personally love about this app. Their algorithm is you know, really, really good. Um, so yeah, I really like their algorithms for um, the playlist that they create for their top charts and everything like that. I think it's really good. Uh, you can go ahead and see all of the charts that they have here um, and just you know pick what you wanna pick and then go into the album and then play it um, from there. So you can see all of the um, J. Cole essentials here. They have a huge list and it looks very well laid out. Now, if we go um, you know, throughout these, you can see that they have different charts for different uh, categories. And then also you can see that we have our own library, which is um, installed onto our device. Um, it's storage through iTunes. You can see that we can access that music as well because they did take advantage of music hit so we can see um, exactly uh, what we have on our device as well, which is not something that you could always do before. A lot of times it was just um, all cloud service based apps or music and you couldn't really see what was on your device, but now you can. So if I go into songs, I can go ahead and check out all of my installed music, um, which is really cool. So I actually have no need for the music app, um, Apple's music app. You can see that the player looks very cool here. Um, pretty standard as far as um, the look. I think this is pretty similar to the design that we have on the music app. If we go into the music app here, it's almost similar. We just had um, one change here. We, we could hard it, um, which you, know, you can also do on the music app as well. So yeah, guys, check this out. Um, it's definitely a direct comparison, but I think this looks a little bit cleaner compared to uh, the music app, which just looks slightly different here. I really like the look of, um, of Soar. I really like uh, how it looks. So yeah, let's go and go into the settings here. There's not too much to talk about about this front page, pretty self-explanatory there. Uh, but we'll go into the themes here, and this is really where it kind of uh, gets a little bit mixed up. Now, we can go into a dark theme or a black theme. We'll start out with a dark theme, and this has very much like a um, kind of uh, gray tint to it, in my opinion. So it's not all the way black, and it looks absolutely amazing. I think all the content on the page really pops 
out at you and I just really like the look of this. I've been using this for the past couple of days the most and I'm really enjoying it. As you can see, the music player here looks really good um, and you can actually go ahead and um, change the theme right away. You don't have to um, you know, wait for anything. Um, you don't have to like close the app and restart it and everything like that. So that's really cool. And then you can actually go and install a visualizer as well, which looks really cool with a dark theme. So I can go ahead and start playing music here. Uh, let me turn down my volume and go ahead and start playing music and the visualizer will actually show up at the bottom. So I don't know if it'll show on screen here. I can see it. Um, that is a little visualizer down there and then you can actually close this and um, you know keep on going throughout your you know whatever uh, searching for music and all that but it looks absolutely amazing here the visualizer looks cool um, the visualizer is cool but I wouldn't say it's definitely a feature that I would really get this app for it's definitely just kind of one of those bo bonuses um, so yeah the haptics um, you can see that we have a, a um, setting for haptics that's not really you know much of anything it just kind of bumps you when um, you're changing settings or you know um, looking up certain things or if it's found something so that's cool um, but the sorting you can kind of sort your songs and everything like that how you want them in the apple music app you can definitely do this but i think this sorting process is just a little bit more streamlined here so yeah there's definitely a couple settings here you can go ahead and check out and change but i think the major one here that you guys are going to love is um, one the home sections you can see exactly what you see on your home and then the other themes because the home sections you can't really control on the apple music app um, so I definitely think a lot of people will like that control. And then the themes is definitely another one. So we'll go back to the light theme. You'll, you'll go ahead and see it here. Um, the light theme is the one that we started out with. And then if we go back into the settings app and go to black, you can see what a difference uh, that makes versus just the dark theme. So black is just straight black. Um, there's no you know gray look to it. It's just all black and then you have your content. So I believe that this looks really good here. I'm really liking the um, the kind of theme that they set out to put give to their customers here. And um, as you can see, the Apple default kind of like AirPlay uh, menu here really matches well with the theme that they already have. So I definitely think that this theme would really go well with a built-in Apple Music app and then as well already the UI that Apple has installed into iOS 12 moving on to iOS 13. So as you can see, everything kind of integrates already with iOS 12 and I would just love to see this design um, on iOS 13 coming to us in just a few months. Honestly, this design, I think that they spent a lot of time on it and it looks absolutely amazing. Um, so guys, go check it out. If you want a dark mode right now for your Apple uh, music player and you want to access your own music and as well, um, Apple Music, the subscription-based service, go ahead, check it out. It looks absolutely amazing and I would definitely recommend it to all of you who want to get a different music experience. So guys, that was the Soar app. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Does this represent what you'd want to see in iOS 13, a dark mode music app? Looking forward to what you guys have to say in the comment section down below. Anyways though, after commenting, make sure to leave me a like on the video if you liked it and also get subscribed for more upcoming content coming up real soon. So thank you all for watching and we'll catch you in our next video. Peace.